I'm an Air Force Airman. I am a bow hunter. I am a fisherman. I am Mark of All Trades. Welcome to week two of me trying John Dudley's School and Knock. If you haven't, you want to check last week's video of week one, where we were really stressing on doing 40 shots a day and really building up our endurance in shooting our bow. So now that we're in week two, we're going to continue to keep building on our 40 arrows in one session. And now I'm going to really be focusing on my stance and my structure of how I'm going to be shooting my bow. John Dudley says that your stance can easily be determining why your shots are off. Your hips are going to determine the position of your front shoulders and just your shoulders in general. It was suggested to draw your feet stance on a piece of cardboard so then that repetition becomes more ingrained in you and you have the perfect stance every time you shoot. The ideal stance is a neutral stance that has a slight variation to it. The main thing that you want is to be perfectly parallel. John found it to be most comfortable when you're slightly open to your front side. One way to make sure that this is right is just to make sure that the toe of your front foot is in line with the ball of your back foot. From this position, it allows you to have the perfect string clearance when you go to shoot. The homework for this week, week two, is to make sure that before every shot, you take a look at your stance before shooting one of your 40 arrows for the day. For me, I chose to use the cardboard to make sure that my feet are positioned every single time I shoot one of my 40 shots. Another way to tell that you have the right angle is to look at the wording on your shirt. This is a good indicator because this will give you the right triangle that will give you a good clearance of your string and will also give a good flight keeping your front shoulder packed down. You do not want your front shoulder to lift up or shrug in any way. John talks about that in his week two podcast. If you've ever done the school of knock before, definitely let me know in the comments how it worked out for you. Or even if you've done a different program, let me know about it and maybe I'll give it a try. I'm definitely just trying to become a better archer and an overall better bow hunter. One of the other homework assignments that John talks about is keeping your rear elbow to the position at the 1130 mark. If you look backwards, that's going to be a good indication of where your elbow is going to be. And so the whole point of that is so that when you break your shot, your elbow comes back to the 1130, 12 o'clock mark. And this will ensure that you have a good follow through in your shot and that your repetition throughout your 40 shots a day stays the same. This school of knock has really given me a lot of things to think about with the fundamentals of archery instead of just going into my backyard and flinging arrows. With each of the 40 arrows that I send to my target, there's a purpose behind it. There's steps that I need to follow in order for me to have that perfect executed shot. And with this school of knock, I've learned so much and I think I've already gained a ton more information and my shots have been that much better because of it. I'm probably going to have to mention it every week, but I'm really trying to focus on bringing my elbow through the shot and not punching the trigger. But just in doing it, I can see here that, you know, where I'm aiming, the arrow is going. And obviously there's still some improvement that I need to make, but so far I'm, I'm loving the process and it's been wonderful. All right guys, so that's week two. Uh, you can see that we were really focused on our feet placement and really pulling back with that shoulder so that we have a clean break. That's probably the roughest thing that's gonna be for the school of knock is me having that clean break all the way through. I know I'm a big fan of punching the trigger and it's just a work in progress. So we're not gonna be perfect, but we're gonna strive for perfection, right? So make sure that you subscribe to the channel. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought in the comments. I'll check you in the next video for week three.